This is Team Let It Grow, an IoT planter that allows you to monitor your plant away from home and can even take care of the plant automatically. This is Harry, Harry Potter. For these requirements, you can see that the system is powered by a 12 volt 3 amp wall wart plugged into a standard 120 volt wall outlet. After turning on the switch, the 12 volt red LED on the right and 3.3 volt red LED on the left light up, indicating that the system has power. After initializing the sensor data to zero, the system gathers data from all sensors and updates the display and web server. The device can measure the distance between the plant and the grow lights, or for testing purposes, my hand, and prompt the user with a warning on the display if it gets too close. The grow lights can be raised and lowered as needed to follow along with the plant's growth. For demonstration, we will be using the web interface to change the grow lights. After turning the grow lights on, we can set the brightness to one of four levels. Here the lights are set to their dimmest setting. We can also change the color from the default mix of white and purple to just white or just purple as shown. For demonstration, we will be using the web interface again to water the plant. The device reports the approximate remaining water tank capacity. After selecting an amount of water to pump, the pump is turned on and an approximate amount of water is delivered to the plant. The plant can only be given 100 milliliters at a time at most, with checks in the code to prevent overwatering in a specified interval. If the soil moisture percentage is too low or the ambient temperature is too warm, you would want to be notified to check your plant. This is accomplished using web hooks with if this, then that. Here, we will change the soil moisture balance to fall outside of a normal range for testing purposes. The system detects that the value is out of the specified range and sends an email to the user. The power system provides approximately 3.3 volts with 120 millivolts of ripple on average from the 5 volt output of the buck converter. The power subsystem provides approximately 5 volts with 70 millivolts of ripple on average from this 12 volt output of the wall wart. Our PCB has numerous components. First is the ESP32 S3 microcontroller with 2 megs of pseudo SRAM, which helps with the limited amount of RAM that comes with the standard chip. Then we have a buck converter to provide 5 volts and a low dropout linear regulator to provide 3.3 volts to the system. A total of five BJTs are used as microcontroller controlled switches. There's also a USB type C receptacle to program the chip and a few shocky diodes to protect power and data lines for both ESD protection and to prevent chaos if the USB port and 12 volt power supply are connected at the same time. You can see these components labeled on the board here with a few other components labeled like level shifters, power switch and jack, power indicator LEDs, the beefy inductor, and the boot and reset buttons. There are also a ton of unlabeled resistors and capacitors, but the full details can be found on our schematic and PCB screen captures.